So while I was doing Tonight Show, I got a call from the Dean Martin Show saying we'd like you to write for us. So that was very exciting. And um, I would uh, we moved to California in 1968. And I did the Dean Martin Show. So and Martin was um, a tremendously entertaining guy. The show was entertaining. I met him once. Day one of production, Greg Garrison, the producer and director, brought the four new writers on stage. He said, Dean, these are the new writers. Dean said, I said, this is, uh, he said, this is Ed Weinberger. Hello, Ed. This is Treva Silverman. Hello, Treva. This is Stan Daniels. Dean said, hello, Stan. This is Arnie Kogan. Hello, Marty. I shook his hand, never corrected him, never spoke to him again in my life. That was my Dean Martin experience. But two months later, my wife Sue was at dinner at Stefanino's on Sunset Boulevard with a lady named Judy Tan, who worked for Stephen Eddy. Dean Martin was two tables away with his manager, Mort Viner. Viner recognized Judy, said, oh, there's Judy Tan, and, and what? Oh, it's one of the writer's wives. Come on over. My wife Sue spent an evening with Dean Martin. I got Hello Marty. Two different lifestyles. She, she spent an evening with Dean. We do monologue jokes and... Um, and things like, oh, that kid sings good after we do the monologue. And uh, it was just uh, easy to write for and uh, write sketches. I did a thing called uh, musical questions, which they used as a regular feature. A girl, originally it was written as a sketch, but then they made it a musical piece. One of the Dingling sisters or the gold diggers, they'd come up and sing, they'd sing a question song. Why do I love you? And Dean would sing the answer. He'd say, blame it on the bossa nova, whatever it was. They'd do 10 songs. And uh, they kept doing it for a couple of years. You know, questions and answers musically. Did he rehearse or did he just like going for no, it? No, he didn't rehearse. He, uh, Greg Garrison would do the, he'd come on on day five, the shooting day, I think. And uh, Greg Garrison would go through the sketches with him. He'd kind of know his lines. If it was a dance number, the dancers would move him into place as he was doing the number. If he screwed up, it didn't matter. It was Dean Martin. He was cool enough and loose enough to cover it and uh, ad-lib something. So he did not rehearse.